Hello, welcome to Noonday Prayer. I invite you to say hello in the comments and put any prayer requests that you have. And we'll get started right at noon in about five minutes. Hi, Vicky and Carl. Good to see you. Hi, Vicky from Colorado. Hope y'all, you and Jan are having fun there. I've enjoyed seeing the pictures. The mountains in Colorado is beautiful. Just getting our prayer list pulled up right here. There we go. We'll get started in just a couple of minutes. Noonday Prayer starts on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. Hi, Jan. We'll pray for safe driving. Hi, Patricia. Welcome. We'll get started in just a little bit. Hi, Amanda. We'll pray for prayers for grace and peace. Hi, Mark. Hi, Henry. I invite those who are just joining us to put any prayers or thanksgivings that they want included today in the comment section.
Hi, Sam. We'll pray for Thanksgiving for St. Mark's. And it's just now noon, so we'll begin with some silence, and then our service starts on page 103 of the Book of Common to Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet, and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the meditation portion of uh, uh, today, I wanted to read a meditation by Henry Nouwen. Uh, you can find Henry Nouwen was a priest and a spiritual leader, and uh, he... Uh, I have a daily reader, and this is one from May 18th, and it's called Listen to the Voice of Gentle Love. And you can also find it at henrynowen.org if you, if you like this kind of stuff, and they'll send you a daily email. So this is a meditation about listening to the voice of gentle love. He writes, listen to your heart. It's there that Jesus speaks most intimately to you. Praying is first and foremost listening to Jesus, who dwells in the very depths of your heart. He doesn't shout. He doesn't thrust himself upon you. His voice is an unassuming voice, very nearly a whisper, the voice of gentle love. Whatever you do with your life, go on listening to the voice of Jesus in your heart. This listening must be an active and very attentive listening. For in our restless and noisy world, God's so loving voice is easily drowned out. You need to set aside some time every day for this active listening to God, if for only 10 minutes. 10 minutes each day for Jesus alone can bring about a radical change in your life. You'll find it isn't easy to be still for 10 minutes at a time. You'll discover straight away that many other voices, voices that are very noisy and distracting, Voices that do not come from God demand your attention. But if you stick to your daily prayer time, then slowly but surely, you'll come to hear the gentle voice of love and will long more and more to listen to it. That's from Henry Nouwen. And when I was reading it, it reminded me of this habit of noonday prayer that uh, we've been doing for well over a year now, and that's it's uh you know there's a lot of heartache and terrible stuff that came from the pandemic but there's also some positive things too and i think taking time each day to uh listen to that voice of god that's within each of us through this new day prayer has been a blessing so uh i hope you hear uh jesus's voice in your heart in these new day prayers and i also invite you to you know anytime whether we're doing new day prayer or not anytime you can just take 10 minutes take some time and listen to that voice of God's love that's speaking within you. So 
we'll have a little bit of silence so we can actually listen to Jesus instead of listening about Jesus in our own hearts. And then we'll carry on in our prayers. So the Lord be with you. Continuing in our prayers, Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In our St. Mark's prayer list, we pray for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, the presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, our clergy, Danny, Michael, Patricia, Susan, Joanne, and Billy, our staff and vestry. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Bayumba, in and the church the anglican church of rwanda in the diocesan cycle of prayer we pray we pray for saint francis house and its ministries camp mitchell and its ministries we pray for saint andrews mariana christ church mina and the commission on church architecture and allied arts We pray for peace. We pray for an end to terrorism, racism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. We pray for all our St. Mark's staff, especially this week. We pray for Tim Allen, our organist and choir master. And we pray for all our parish ministries, especially this week, the Pew Crew. We pray for the safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, including Megan, Sam, Breen, Marshall, and Garrett. We pray for families who are expecting children, Marley and Taylor Gamble, Kelsey and Noah Allen, and the Herod family. And those commended to our prayers, Cole, Austin, Rachel, Betsy, Matthew, Craig, Mary Sue, Judy, Karen, Suzanne, Mike, Liz, Alan, Denise, Paul, Kim, Kevin, Janet and Merle, Gail, Adam, Jan, the Weber family, Kelly, Kathy, Stephanie, Paul, Shelley, Rosemary, Margaret, Blake, and Jim. We pray for those who are celebrating birthdays today and those who are celebrating wedding anniversaries. And we pray for those who have died and the repose of the soul of Brian Warmouth. In our Facebook prayer list, we pray for uh, safe travels for Vicky and Jan as they're traveling the country. We pray for grace and peace. We give thanksgiving for the St. Mark's family. 
We pray for the repose of the soul of Bob Kane. I invite you to lift up any prayers that are on your heart in this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me on this Thursday for Noonday Prayer. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. See you all later. Bye.